everyone, it's Brittany and today I am going to a barbecue pool kind of a thing and it's very summery so I thought I would do kind of a summer inspired makeup tutorial and also I shall be using my July Ipsy bag in case you are part of that then you'll get to see what is coming in yours and how I would use the products. And no further ado, let's just see how I am summer ready. <laughs> I'm going to start off by using a tinted moisturizer with SPF and the one I'm using is Kula. And I have the one that has rose essence in it. So fancy. Now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier concealer and mine is an SC3 just to cover up any redness or imperfections. So around the nose and on blemishes. There you go, hide you. You don't exist anymore. I will come back to the face, but I'm going to use a Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer on my eyes. And for the eyes, all the colors I will be using are in the BH California Collection palette. And I will be using one other color, which is MAC Gesso. It's just a matte white for a highlight. It's my go-to highlight color. I almost forgot about my eyebrows. I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and mine is Medium Ash. I like to do my eyebrows before my eyeshadow because it kind of helps me get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Because eyebrows make such a difference, even though mine are not twins. They are for sure sisters. Maybe a different father, I don't know. I'm going in with the gold color and it's Malibu. I'm just going to put that all over my lid and these are just so fucking pigmented. I'm going to use the bronze color, which is San Francisco, on the outer, and I'm going to bring that into the crease and then blend it. And now I'm taking MAC Gesso, which is my highlight, and let's just put that right there. I'm using the Anastasia Waterproof Eyeliner in Azure, which is kind of like a dark blue, and I'm just putting that inside my waterline and tightline. Now I'm using the last color, Hollywood, which is purple, and I'm going to blend out with a smudger brush, and you are MAC 219 under the lash line. And I'm just going to line it with Buxom Gel Eyeliner. I will come back to the eyes and go back to the face and I'm going to use the HD setting powder and I really love this stuff because it is so fine that it's perfect if you want kind of like a no makeup kind of skin look but still have you know your concealer and tinted moisturizer set. And now I'm going to contour the face with NARS Laguna bronzer to make a really weird face. And, and for my cheeks, I'm actually going to use a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this one's in dark. And for my highlight, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in 05. I'm going to apply a mascara, and I'm using Maybelline The Falsies in Waterproof, because I don't like to use non-waterproof ever. I took out my hot rollers and I look like a crazy person, so this is what it looks like when you take them out. In case you're wondering, I do have a tutorial on how I use my hot rollers since I didn't really show it in this video, but you like kind of saw the before and after. Also, the lipstick I am wearing, I chose to mix Lime Crimes, Great Pink Planet, and Jura Diem. I'm going to put that one. I'm going to put everything into the description because I did not pronounce that right. But they just look like this. And all I'm going to do is lightly brush my crazy hair out. And for my hair, if you do any kind of styling, you should definitely set it with some kind of waterproof treatment in the summer because whether it's humidity or just water in some form, this will save your hair. This is the Big and Sexy Waterproof. And you just spray this on. 
Now for my scent, I'm using the Dimeter Salt Air Roll-On Perfume Oil, and this smells like the good kind of beach. You know like sometimes the beach doesn't smell too good? Like it's just like rotting fish and seaweed? Oh my god. This smells so good, and it's like a natural scent, so it's not overpowering, because I know when I wear like a whole bunch of like sugar spray scents, <laughs> guys are always just like, that's not natural. P.S. I plan on making a video on the little eye, and if you want to know how to do this, and you'd be interested in that kind of video, just like this one, and I will get to making the evil eye soon. Also, the color on my toes is really fun. I'll show it to you. Um, I made a video not too long ago on my summer favorite nail polishes, and Morange was one of them. And if you're looking for a cheaper one, this is a nail teeny in Mai Tai 107. And you can see it on my toes. Oh god. Oh god. This isn't working. Yes, this is my actual foot. This is probably the weirdest position I will hopefully ever be in. On camera. Um, <laughs> there's Neil Teeny. It's just really fun. <laughs> well, that is the end of my tutorial. Hopefully, you found it fun, entertaining, educational. And if you have any questions, leave them in a comment down below. And if you would like to see the eye, then like this video. And you can also see my burn. And I will see you all next time. Bye!